Okay, now I've discovered how to actually attach my DSLR camera uh, to a smallest telescope that I have, a Skywatcher 8 AT uh, Star Travel. That's uh, achromatic, not apple, but uh, I have the attachment to attach it directly to the um, to the telescope, the DSLR to the telescope. So uh, I will start tonight to do this, and I will show you the steps I'm taking. Okay, this is the setup I'm using. I will show you. Uh, I just remove the diagonal, and I put a um, T-ring, Canon T-ring, directly attached to the uh, focuser of the telescope. It's a Scope Watcher 80 ST Star Travel. And now we are going to observe with this. Okay, hallelujah, we have focus. This is the moon and the night of the conjunction with the Venus, and I have focus. Now I'm going to uh, photograph. So watch me. Okay. Oh, Earth shine. I can see Earth shine. Let's go for a move. Just a view of the Earth shine. Okay. Can reduce my time and just get uh, a little bit uh, less over exposed picture of the bright side. But before going again for the moon, I'm just taking a shot of the Venus. Oh, I took two stars. What I'm excited about is that the width of the field of view is around um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 moon. And that means uh, easily I can take the uh, stars of the Orion belt, easily all of them in this. So I'm now doing uh, 100. Uh, yeah, uh, one. Uh, one five hundredths of a second. Okay, I'm doing the ISO six thousand four hundred and one hundredths of a second exposure. No oh, batteries. Week, so I have to change. Okay, now we are doing one hundredth of a second. I've changed the battery six thousand four hundred ISO. So Earth shine is clearly visible. So with this setup, I was able to work the telescope uh, with the Sky Watcher eighty millimeter. I will try tonight probably with a 120mm 5 inch one. That will be great. This is a wide angle setting. It's a telephoto lens. And I have it now without spending a penny extra. I have a best setup for my telescope. So I may just try to work on this again and see how can I get better results.
it is daylight, I've changed the setting of the video so it looks darker than what it actually is. But where I'm uh, making this video using a uh, Meet uh, LX200 Classic it has a superior optic to anything that I've seen and it has the slow motion controls unlike the LX90 and that makes it uh, possible to actually move the images as you can see I'm removing the micro movements of the telescope if it's possible Yeah, the cuckoo, cuckoo always singing. 